Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the, uh, sorry, the monthly, I was almost going to say mid-month, the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to give you guys a big shout out. Thank you guys very much. I am uploading the videos. Uh, the sooner the videos come up have to do with the videos that have the most views or the most comments. Uh, so you guys were definitely up there and that's the reason why I'm working on your videos. So don't forget to comment, like, and share your videos, uh, my videos, sorry. Um, so you guys can get uh, sooner your videos uploaded. So uh, for those of you guys interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. Anything to do with spellcraft, uh, magic, uh, candle magic, anything of that you will find the on the description all that information and my email so you can contact me on there okay so anyways um moving along i want to give a big shout out to diane morosco thank you sweetheart she's a client of mine and also a very close friend of mine uh that i've grown to love and respect and admire she's an amazing author i encourage you guys to check out her videos uh, sorry, her videos, her books on Amazon. Uh, you can find her on Amazon. Her name is Diane Morosco. Uh, thank you, sweetheart. She sent me this uh, coffee mug. It says Bruja in Spanish, which represents witch. I love it and I adore it. She sent it to me for Hollow's Eve. So thank you, sweetheart. Let's get to the reading of Aquarius. I had already shuffled the cards, but I will shuffle again just so you guys can see that I'm shuffling. Let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of November 2017. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquas, Aquarius, for the month of November 2000? Wow. Okay, so I was shuffling the cards, and as you can see, we have a few cards that popped out. Wow, okay. So, like I said, I had already shuffled the cards, so I'm going to stop here. I continued shuffling, but... All right, so your first card is the Five of Wands. Second card is the Queen of Pentacles. Third card is the Six of Cups. You have the World card as well. And the Knight of Swords. The Knight, sorry, the Page of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. The Hermit card. The Queen of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Sun card. Your general energy is, wow, Aquarius. You have the Ace of Cups. So you guys are definitely going to be experiencing a lot of love in the air for the month of November. A lot of commitments coming through as well. I think for the past two months, you guys have been experiencing this. And again, as a general energy, the Ace of Pentacles does promise new beginnings for you guys in regards to the love field. This is a general reading, so um, it could represent business, uh, finances, or love. But I feel that with, these, with this Ace here, definitely uh, romance and love is going to be very important for the month of November for you guys, okay? So anyways, let's get into your reading. You have the Five of Wands here, and the Five of Wands is definitely talking about um, arguments or miscommunication with people. Perhaps you're dealing with an Earth sign. Earth sign would be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. This is a person from your past, as the Six of Cups is here. And this person may be reaching out to you or trying to communicate with you in regards to a misunderstanding that happened. Uh, perhaps you've created distance out of an argument that you guys had, but they're definitely reaching out to you. You do have the world card here. So the world card is a symbology of that of a new cycle. You've accomplished this new cycle. It could also represent karmatic energies. This could be a person that's reaching out to you from the past that has um, or still is not done with their karmatic cycle with you, which is why they're communicating or trying to reach out to you. At the present time, the world card is a representation of an ending. So the Knight of Swords here, there is a need for you to finally, um, whatever misunderstanding happened between you guys, uh, it's the best you approach it and speak about it so then you can finally let the, you know, the, the past lay to rest. Uh, the Knight of Swords is definitely talking about cutting through lies, cutting through bullshit, and basically either owning the mistakes that were done in the past, whether it was you, Aquarius, that did wrong to this person or whether it was this person that did wrong to you. There's a need to face the consequences, not consequences in a negative, but face and own up to it and move forward, cutting and releasing 
whatever tension, whatever grudges are still being held on to, it's time to move on. Now you do have the page of uh, swords here. So I do see a lot of uh, energy that has to do with the past as the pages here and the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles has to do with looking towards the past or being almost um, kind of, you know, in a state of mind where you're nostalgic and you start thinking and remembering the past. The eight of cups here for some of you guys, it could have been that you're uh, recently you made a decision to walk away from a relationship having to do with this page here of pentacles so the page of pentacles is definitely a message that comes through but it's a message that has to do it took a while for them to reach out so what i'm taking from this is if there was recently a pulling away from a relationship or you guys kind of just gave each other time uh, to figure out what it is that both of you guys want, whether you want to be together or whether you guys want to go your separate ways. Uh, the, the Knight here of Pentacles, again, like, sorry, the Page of Pentacles here, it's a message coming through, but it's like, it's been a while. So if recently this happened in October, you're going to start seeing the person trying to reach out. Again, it could be the person up here that's reaching out to you and wanting to fix or wanting to decide whether they want to move forward with you. But you are taking on the energies of the Hermit card. So the Hermit card could be a representation for some of you guys where you came to the realization that, you know what, I am not ready for a commitment. Whether this person was asking perhaps in the past, um, if they were asking for something more, something more uh, concrete, whether it was moving with each other or living with each other, getting married. The Hermit card speaks about you being very reclusive, not wanting to be social, not wanting to go out, but it's not in a negative. It's because you're trying to best understand your emotions, okay? The Queen of Wands here could be a representation of a water sign that you're dealing with. A water sign would be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If it's not a person, this could be your energy, and this has to do with your emotions. So I know for a lot of you, Aqua, sometimes emotions is something very complex for you. Uh, very difficult for you guys to understand really the innate of what you feel uh, because you guys are more of a mental sign. Nonetheless, um, the hermit card here uh, is almost being very introvert and really going in and trying to figure out what it is that you want and understanding your feelings again like I said because the queen of cups you're finally coming to the understanding of hey you know what I really do love this person or hey you know what I really can't move forward with this person because this person is too clingy uh, I know again like I said for some of you guys you walked away from a relationship because the person was expecting too much from you and again you guys are um you guys are an air sign and you, there is a, a feeling of independence that comes with you guys that is necessary. You guys can't feel caged in. You can't feel like you're being forced to make a decision because it's easier for you to walk away than to actually, you know, pretty much come towards what they're wanting or asking from you. Um, so again, you're finally coming to that understanding and based on that, you're going to be able to move forward. There is communication coming through perhaps in the beginning initially or in the initial stages of communication, you guys were a little bit aggressive or a little bit very blunt to one another. But I feel that there's going to be positive uh, messages coming through, a lot of communi quick communication back and forth with you guys because you do have the Eight of Wands here. Now, the Eight of Wands is mirroring the Nine of Wands. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, you guys have been dealing with a lot of obstacles in regards to finances and money. But the Queen of Pentacles up here, you're starting to manifest the stability you've been wanting. And again, coming towards the middle, sorry, the end of the month, you're going to get a lot of communication in regards to business as the Nine of Wands is a very tiring energy, but it could be represented of a give and take so for some of you guys it could represent business uh getting more money but you're also putting more effort towards what you're doing because that's how you're making the money so again at the middle sorry at the end of the month i definitely see a new blessing coming your way you do have the sun here and you do have as a general and wow look at this as a general energy right under the ace of pentacles sorry right under the ace of cups you have the ace of pentacles so i feel that for a lot of you guys that have been struggling, whether it's uh, relationship-wise or whether it's finances, like you guys haven't been doing that good, 
I guarantee you guys that by the middle of the month of November, going into the end of November, you're going to start to experience blessings as you do have the sun card here. And then there is a promise for finances and growth stability, but also promise um, to take it to the next level or to actually materialize that relationship you've been wanting. For some of you guys that are single at the present time, Aquarius, there's definitely um, a Leo coming in with the sun card here. A Leo person coming in that's going to be able to, uh, that may start as friendship, but is definitely going to tr uh, turn into something more stable and something more long-term and committed as the Ace of Pentacles always promises uh, something that is going to be longevity, something that's going to be long-term uh, and commitment. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Uh, comment, like, and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. And we will see each other in the middle of the month for the love readings. Okay? Bye.